as you guys know, reviews for Dragon Age The Veil Guard are now starting to filter out across the internet. And I was gifted an early access code to the game by EA, thank you EA, so that I could also bring you a review of the game. However, I am more of a Twitch streamer uh, than a YouTuber, so my style of review is going to be slightly different. However, let me break down a couple of things that I experienced during the playing of the game and uh, what to expect from me over the next couple of weeks. So as a Twitch streamer, the way that I review games is usually in person, playing it live on Twitch with my Twitch chat. Twitch chat and I bounce off each other, we talk about things as things happen and that's what I wanted to do. But in order to avoid spoilers for myself, I have decided that I'm going to do a Let's Play on YouTube. My Let's Play episodes will be uh, an hour to two hours long and they're going to be mostly unedited. The ones that have jump cuts in them will become apparent in just a second when I explain a couple of things that I experienced whilst playing the game. However, let's just get into it. I fucking love it. I fucking love the game. There are a couple of things about the game that I found frustrating. Again, we'll get into that in just a second. But for me, fundamentally, I feel like Dragon Age is back and I feel I feel like we're, we're home. We're back in Thedas and it's uh, it's... It's great and I can't I can't stop smiling. <laughs> I think the best way to review a game is to show just raw, authentic emotion. Show my reactions to things as they were happening in real time. So I'm going to show you a couple of clips of me from my recording of playing the game. I'm not going to show what's happening in the game. I'm just going to show myself um, so that I don't add any spoilers just because spoiling the game right now is not something that I personally want to do. It's not something that I feel is decent. It's not something that I've ever wanted to do. I want you guys to experience the game for yourselves. However, I'm going to give you a little taste of how I reacted to certain parts of the game. But first, let's talk about character creator. Back where it all began, the character creator is still my favourite character creator. One of my favourite character creators, not just in the franchise, but in any game that I've actually ever played. I had so much fun sitting in the character creator, just fi uh, figuring out all of the, the different sliders and all of the different like color variations and things putting together my rook that you guys now have seen everywhere and know oh so well and it's just so nice to see him again i'm already so attached to my rook and so attached to his story not just like the story as a whole but his story how his story is kind of like fleshed out throughout the the course of the game and how he interacts with the environment the story the characters the the npcs uh, it's it's becoming it's becoming quite quite a drama fest <laughs> Veilguard and Bioware story writing in general has always had the ability to make me go from this. For the record, there was probably an easier way to do that than fighting an entire bar. Wrong, Varric! That is the only way to do this! <laughs> I will do actions more than words. I don't care! I'm filling up! Fuck off, guys! Shut up! <laughs> I'm like filling up with the music and the- we're just- oh, I'm home! I'm back in Thedas! Stop it! To this. You have no idea what you have done. You have no idea what you have done. In like a heartbeat. The story beats are so good. And especially coming from someone who is chronically obsessed with the lore of Dragon Age, I feel like a lot of it is just bam, 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 hit, hit, hit after hit. And then there are a couple of things that I did question and you'll see it when my playthrough comes out. Again, I don't want to spoil too much about the story, but I also don't want to spoil too much about my playthrough. My playthrough will begin, like the first couple of episodes will go up on release on Halloween and you'll be able to watch my playthrough as you play the game. So as you play, like say the prologue of the game, once you've finished it, you can watch my episode of the prologue, see if I did anything different. And it's like, we'll be playing the game together. Then that way, my whole playthrough will be spoiler free because you'll have already played the game do you see <laughs> and then that way it'll just be a, like a nice little interaction a nice little interactive way that we can all play Veilguard without spoiling it for each other 
but expect me to be swearing a lot. The combat system is definitely something that is, well, the, the best way I can describe it is different. It's new, it's, it's going to take you a while to get used to. When I was playing it, I found that Rogue kind of just felt more fluid, it felt more fleshed out. But for this playthrough, I'm playing as a mage and I felt that mage takes a little bit longer to get the hang of. And uh, a lot of the combat will take you from this to... Okay. Yep, 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 give it to me. Let, let's do it, let's go. I love it. Kamehameha, Kamehameha! <laughs> <laughs> he was slowly going through the air! <laughs> Shit! My life flashed before my eyes just then. <laughs> to this. Can I have five seconds, please? Five fucking seconds. Oh my god, game, fuck off. What am I stuck on? What is it, though? Fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake, of course, it's fucking dark spawn. This fucking bullshit game. It's fucking bullshit. Why do I get stuck on every fucking piece of motherfucking stuff that's around? You've got to dodge the attacks, but you can't dodge the attacks because this chair's in the way. Fuck off. I cannot wait until the game drops because as soon as people have played the game and I don't have to worry about spoiler territory anymore, then I can start really going into like my criticisms of the game because so far whilst I was editing this video, every criticism that I had is is has a spoiler behind it. So once I've played the game and it's all done and everyone has played the game and we come back, I would love and I cannot wait to sit down with everybody on Twitch and just go over the things that were locked behind all of the spoilers that I can't talk about right fucking now. So when you're watching my playthrough on YouTube, take note of every single time I'm like, I have a slight criticism about this because when we get to the other side and I'm playing it live on Twitch, I cannot wait to talk about these things with you. But there have been so many times in this game where it has thrown me a curveball and I've reacted like this. Oh my God! <laughs> Said it kept him thinking, trying to keep up. Stop! 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 It's worse. Stop! <laughs> Can I not romance him anymore? Is he still romanceable? Look, I have questions. Yes, 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 yes! I like this. I like this so much better. I like this so much better. Therefore, whoever drank from the well doesn't matter. Wah! If you are playing on PC like I am and you don't have the full recommended specs, there are a couple of things that I should warn you about. My game has crashed twice so far and the frame drop rates are everywhere. There's a couple of times where I've had to like reset my game or uh, just like refresh the frame rates. And like I say, the, the game has crashed twice. But Jonas is hurt bad. And I think, Jonas, Jonas, I think she got Mirabelle. No! Hello? Uh oh. Do we have our first game crash? We might have our first game crash, watchers. No? I think we're back? No, we're not. Yeah, we have our first game crash. Wonderful! Excellent! Oh, this is going to be fantastic. And at the end of the day, I don't know if that's a my PC issue or if that's just like my PC isn't compatible with the game. I don't know how much of that is like so much of a game issue as a my PC issue. So take that with a grain of salt as you go into this. And remember that if you aren't running on like the full recommended specs, you might experience a couple of uh, crashes and stuff as well. But so far, it's only happened twice. And uh, there's been a couple of bugs, like there's um, the icon that I was trying to like click and it somehow clicked the same icon, but off in the distance. Um, but, and stuff like that is kind of, I don't care. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if it's just like, I, I'm so like not bothered by things like that. I swear at it in the moment and then just fucking move on. Just be like that, that's great Bioware. It's like, 
the bugs are what give me content. So they don't bother me in the same way that I think they would bother other people. A lot of it is just a funny little moment where I can like make a joke in that beat and then move on. It's going to translate much better when I have a live audience than when I'm like watching it by myself in this room by myself without my Twitch chat. So stuff like that doesn't fundamentally bother me because like I say, it gives me content, but I understand why it would upset other people because obviously you don't want your game to be bugged. However, all in all, I'm very excited about this game. I think you guys are going to absolutely love it. Whether you like the art style or not is your own personal preference. I'll leave that up to you to decide. But as far as learning the combat, as soon as I'm like, I'm starting to get the hang of the combat now and it is really fun to figure out. It's really fun to like work out all of the different strategies and things. There is an awful lot of fundamental strategy in it. The story notes are blowing me away right now. I absolutely love how it's handled, how it's going. The controversy over the lack of choices from the previous games is kind of handled throughout the game. You can kind of see it. I've already seen a couple of cameos. I've already seen a couple of references to other characters from other games that I absolutely loved and enjoyed. And I think, I think honestly, it's one of those things where like, I could sit here and review this game until the cows come home, but it's fundamentally what you guys think of the game and how you find the game when you're playing the game yourselves, which is why I've opted into doing a full unedited playthrough on my YouTube channel that you can watch along as you're playing the game. And then after that, like I say, we're going to go live on Twitch and we're going to do it in real time where you can hear all of my unfiltered opinions on the game because I won't be behind an NDA anymore. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I cannot wait to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this game. If there's anything I haven't touched upon in this video that you want me to talk about, I can make other videos between now and release, but just let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you're excited about my playthrough. I will see you on the 31st here on YouTube for my first couple of episodes. And then it'll be like one to two episodes a day, let's face it. I am nervous about how the game is going to end because I haven't seen the ending yet. I am a completionist. I am someone who has to look at every rock, every leaf. I have to talk to every NPC. It's taken me a while to get through the game because of that. I might switch it up for Act 2 and Act 3 depending on how, how fast I want to get through the story. But for me personally, I got the game a little bit later than everybody else and everybody has already 100%ed it and I'm just sat here like, I'm just enjoying my game. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, if you've liked this video, remember to like, comment and subscribe for more. Check out my description box down below for all of our social links. Join the Discord, come talk Dragon Age Veilguard with us and I will see you either here on the 31st for release for my full unedited playthrough or I'll see you in Discord where we will talk some more Dragon Age The Veil Guard. Let me know all your thoughts in the, in the comments down below. And uh, uh, it's not long now, guys. It's not long now. <laughs> we'll soon all be playing Veil Guard together. <laughs> Have a good one. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye. <laughs>